All right, boys, today I'm doing a gem guide because the anniversary is upon us. A lot of new players are hopefully returning to the game and they need gems. They haven't been logging in, they haven't been doing anything. They are out of gems, they are useless. A lot of you free to play, you pathetic freaks. No, if you're free to play, by the way, you're much better than me. But um, a lot of you free to play, you know, you love, you love something on every banner when you shouldn't. Uh, so you probably don't have gems saved up, even though this entire year pretty much has been an entire skip. Like, like Mael is the only unit this year that you need to summon on. And then maybe Freya. And you didn't even have to summon on them. They're just good to have. They're really good to have. Uh, obviously. Especially my own. But you didn't even have to summon. This entire year you didn't have to summon. If you if you like demons for PvP. And you don't care about doing Nidhogg. You you are fine. You didn't have to summon this entire year. So uh, you know up to you. Up, I'm just saying. Hey if you if you got rolled that's, that's, that's on you. Anyway. Um, today. I'm going to talk about gems. How to get them. Now first things first. Let's talk about the very very easy gems. Okay. The very easy gems are going to be your dailies. Do your damn dailies, all right? It's four gems every day, okay? And then let's let's include you're in a guild and you pray you get one gem here too. If you're not in a guild, there's plenty of places to find a guild, plenty of discords. Um, you can join my discord. My discord's dead, but like maybe you can find someone there. Um, you can like ask on Twitter, on the forums, on like Reddit, whatever, right? Uh, you'll find a guild, trust. Just join a guild. You can just join a guild. That has like, especially in global, you can read the requirements and they'll be like, yeah, just pray. And you're like, oh yeah, I can do that. And you join, you pray, you get a gem, boom, that's all you care for, okay? Boom, all right? So that's the first step, right? Do your dailies, find a, find a guild, go pray. Five gems a day, 35 a week, huge. All right, step two, just because I want to get this out the way, clear your story, okay? You clear story, you get 30 gems for each chapter, okay? So do that. Also, if you're a new player and you might, no one's never done, like told you this, if you go to these first six towns and you do the funny side quests there, uh, which I think are these blue ones that are done here. Um, you increase the affinity, and then you get 30 gems here too, right? Starting from chapter 7 onwards, it's not that case anymore. It's just for the first 6 chapters, because they're the only ones that matter. So, do that, okay? Uh, next, what you want to do is, you want to go to your box, you want to click this funny uh, magnifying tool glass thing, you want to click the hearts, and then every character doesn't have at least 3 hearts, as a collab character, because they don't allow you to like collab characters for some reason. Um... Every character, you want to make sure you at least have three hearts on, because what it does is it gives you one gem, okay? Now you might think, oh my god, so it's one gem, I'm gonna think, you're stupid, look how many characters there are, okay? Look how many gems is this, um, right? So that's cool. Um, next up, back to characters, let's click a lane, you know, because we're getting bombed for anniversary, it only makes sense we go to a lane. What you want to do is, you want to go to equipment, and then when you go to a piece of equipment, and you, you go do this, you go do this, you go do this, you go do this, you level up to plus 5, 5 star, what happens is, you get a gem. I don't want to do this, because that's resource, I don't want to waste right now, but you probably have infinite of these, because you're lazy, and you never do anything with them, so what you can do is, you can um, just farm infinite gems. You get SSR gear, you get it to plus 5, you get a gem. For every single one you do. If you didn't know this, okay? Technically, you can infinitely farm gems in this game, alright? Technically. Technically. Very technically, okay? Very technically. You can farm infinite gems, okay? Now, next up, also, I didn't, because I didn't mention this in the other one, is uh, gonna be your Ragnarok story. Do your Ragnarok story too, stop being lazy, right? If you see anything up here, then I, 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 I'm gonna be very upset with you, I'm gonna be very mad at you, you wanna clear this, okay? Um, but yeah, that's the first thing, right? So, get, get this out the way, right? Now, the next one is going to be PvP. Right, ungeared. You get 60 gems if you're champ 1. Getting to champ 1 is super easy. You take any stupid team, and you know what you want to do is, let's say you're in like champ 5 right now, you haven't played in a minute. Um, what you want to do is, you you get a bit, a bit of this food, right, which you get at the PvP shop, and then you uh, you win like 5 games and you're champ 1. Because uh, wine food makes it so you get 300% more points, so you get like 70 points, 90 points sometimes, like a win streak. And then you just get so many more points. You climb so quick, you play four matches, and then boom, you're done, right? Just don't buy 100. That'd be stupid. But yeah, again, you know, get your PP stuff done. Easy clap, easy gems, all right? Now let's, let's get into some uh, more um, more uh, nifty gems here, okay? So, the first one, one of my favorites to tell people, because a lot of people don't know this, um, is if you go on boss stage, and you go on these stages, right? What you can do, I think they reward you with gems the first time you clear them normally, right? But it's one gem, who cares, right? What you do is, you want to go in there solo, right? Only one unit, and then you take a friend. Because they don't count, apparently, right? They don't count, you can use a friend. Uh, but you can just clear this solo, right? You're fine, at this point, you're fine, right? Um, you clear these solo with just one unit. And what happens is, you get, you go to your achievements, and then suddenly... Um, in your achievements, you'll see like, oh, you cleared XYZ stage on solo? 
Wow, he has two gems. He has four gems. He has six gems, right? It's two, four, six. So that's huge, right? Um, is it two, four, six? I think it's two, four, six. Anyway, you get a bunch of gems for clearing these out. Like, for clearing these out. Uh, you have to go in order, though. Little tip. You have to go from normal, hard to extreme. And after every single one of them, go accept your missions because... It won't give you the mission for normal until you've cleared uh, for hard until until you've cleared uh, normal and accepted it, the rewards for it. Okay, so do normal, go to achievements, claim hard, achievements, claim extreme, achievements, claim. Next stage, next boss stage, right? Um, next boss stage, right? You, now you go to this one. You do the same thing here, and then what you can also do is right if you're in chapter like eleven or whatever, I think you unlock these in twelve maybe. You go to hell and you do the same thing on these. Okay, now these. Um, only have one stage, but you do them solo, you get gems too. Now, another thing is, one when you've done that, you've probably spawned a demon, okay? Now, when you clear a demon on each difficulty, again, starting from normal, then hard, extreme, and then hell, um, what happens if you clear them solo without a friend, no AI either, just you by yourself, which I, I believe in you, you can do it, um, you also get gems, okay? If, you, if I went to uh, clear, like, red demon right now, right? Like, I spawn a red demon, I clear it solo. No friend. I don't invite anyone. I don't take anyone's uh, AI. It's just my team. You also get gems. It's, it's like, it's like to say, it's like one, two, four, six or something again. Or it's like, it's like one, two, 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 two or something. Because I think the demon ones they don't care about. Um, but yeah, do those two, okay? Bunch of gems if you do your demon solo. Also, general tip, just go to your achievements. And then go to the fighting ones and then check which ones you don't you haven't done right they don't let you scroll all the way obviously for all of these but just check it only says hell right now because um on all of these because it's uh what do you call it uh like i said like once you do the normal one it shows you the hard one once you do the hunt it does the extreme one then it shows you the hell one so only have the hell versions for all of these right it doesn't show me the other ones but especially on global you can read what it says and you're like, oh, okay, well, this is five This is five gems. Oh, let me do that real quick, right? I haven't done this yet. Oh, my God, right? Let me go to this one. Oh, my God, all these gems. Wow, let me do that, right? Um, but, yeah, that boss stage one is, like, a huge tip I can give everyone. Because, um, you know, people don't talk about it anymore. Right, next up, something that a lot of people have forgotten is going to be reverse stage, baby. Um, reverse stage gives you 15 for each of them. And I know it was hard at some point. I used to struggle with this one up here, I remember. Right, um, this one right here. But, like... At this point, boys, it's so easy, right? We have level 100. They did this when it was level 80. We have SA6. We have a Super Awakening 6. They did this when there was only 6 stars in the game. Uh, I think, actually. So, bro, knock this out. You'll be shilling. It's big gems, okay? Next up, we have Tower of Challenge. Also, a mode that if you have the one ultimate, you can pretty much trivialize the entire thing. Uh, they give gems, right? 40 here, and then it's like uh, 30, and it's 30, and it's 30, and it's 30, and it's a bunch of 30s everywhere, right? So, you want to do those? Again, if there's a stage you can't beat, you don't know what they does. One on the wiki, it says, um, if you go like the Grand Cross Wiki Wiki, uh, they, they have an explanation for all these mechanics. But no one wants to read that, just watch a video. I made a video on some of these, Nagato made a video on most of these, right? You want to clear these, okay? Also, if you didn't know, if you haven't logged in a while, they reset these first um, 12, I think. Yeah, they reset the first 12, so you can get 30, 60, uh, 100 gems again, right? 100 gems again. Right? Now, they did this a while ago, so you might have already done it. I'm just saying they did reset it at some point. So, that's cool. Okay, you can do this. Um, now, next up is going to be... I don't know. I'm going to check. Boom! Scenery change. Uh, yeah, so one more thing that you can, can do. That I forgot to mention when I did the affinity thing. Uh, if you click the heart here, too. Um, if you use the char characters a bunch of times in stages, uh, you gather hearts for them as well. And then you get more... Heart, more um, you get more gems, right? For how many hearts you have, right? Obviously, uh, some characters have more hearts available than others. All right, some Elios is maxed. This is pretty up there. Dan's getting up there. Bond's pretty universal now too, so he's getting up there. Right, this is not something you can like super like rush super quickly. But you can put them on your farming teams, right? You can do some suboptimal farming teams, right? And then uh, put them backline whatever, uh, like at least one of them, and then uh, you'll be able to gather them up, right? Arthur, I'm always at one eighty k, so I get hearts, and then uh, boom, I'm almost at this one. Okay. Very, very cool. Um, and one more thing. This is more for new players. Um, actually, two more things. One for new players and one for, like, everyone. So, this one. When you go back to the chapters, you'll see you probably haven't done some of these, like, um, there'll be, like, these roads with, like, uh, like let's say, like, the, the story doesn't make you go here. It does, actually, I think. But, you know. Anyway, let's pretend it doesn't make you go here. Because a lot of places the story doesn't make you go to, especially in, like, like chapter, like, five and six. Um, right? 
uh, there'll be these like little like things on the way to get there, right? Now these little things, these little mini fights, they also give you a gem. And then if you have, if you've been to like, if you go to this area and you've never been to this area, you've never found food here or whatever, it is or never like I think it's a necklace. Is the attack necklace here? I don't, I don't remember. Which one is here? Ah, it's the ring. Whatever. Um, right. If you haven't cleared this, you get a gem for these two. Also, hawk run. Right. Do your hawk run everywhere. Also gives you a gem. Right. Uh, very huge. Very huge. Uh, the first time you cleared at least. Um, now the next, the last thing I can talk about is going to be final boss. Clear final boss. Um, right. Uh, where is it? I can't see it. I swear it's like here. Um, oh, it's down there. Yeah. Clear final boss. It's Chandler right now. You need to get to 60% of all players, which you can do, and you get 30 gems, right? That's all. You, you have, your goal is going to be at least 60% top. But if you clear normal, I'm pretty sure you're 6% top already. So just do the thing, right? Get your 6%. That's 30 gems too. Also, during the anniversary, we'll get like 400 gems. Uh, well, last year we got 400 gems through login. This year we might get more. Uh, we'll see. They might apologize for how horrible this year has been and for the whole LR shenanigans and everything. We'll see, right? But yeah, that's going to be my gem guide. I think that's every single gem you can get in Grand Cross, like, easily. There isn't, like... Well, actually, my gem guide... Hold on, let me upgrade my, update my gem guide. Uh, you want to go here, and you want to go to the biggest pack, and you want to, like, ask your mother for your, for your credit card, and you want to buy this, like, 50 times. You'll be fine for anniversary, I promise. But yeah, that's going to be it, boys. Good job.